so I'm on to, um, where am I? This is measure 10 and 11. Uh, we just finished playing the uh, Alan Heinslick in uh, part five. <laughs> And now we're picking up to measure 11 from uh, the E of beat 4 with uh, some 16th notes here in 7th uh, position. And this is sort of a familiar sounding uh, diatonic interval lick. So we're going to be using 6th um, and 5th in C mixolydian. I'm sliding, I'm playing first uh, the C on the 10th fret with the little finger, and then we have D on the 7th fret of string 3, and then with the 2nd finger we're going to play D sharp and then slide into the downbeat on E. Yeah, make sure I'm playing it the same way I want you to play it. E on the 9th fret of string 3, and then uh, we're going to skip over to C on the 1st string. And I'm using some hybrid picking here to make it sound kind of snappy. That six sounds kind of cool when you have a string skip. Now we're not going to keep using the six. The way you normally might, traditionally. Make it sound a little different. We're going to play the six here. And then we're going to slide down to the same note. E, and then we're going to play a diatonic fifth, and this is in C mixolydian again. So now I got uh, E and B flat. And now we have another fifth down here from D to A in that fifth position, that seventh string on that seventh fret on the third string, and that first string, fifth fret A. You notice it sounds a little different from the sixth. Let's hear those. Yeah. Maybe a little more uh, steely sounding with those, those fifths. Then we got another one on the uh, next string set. I'm going to play C and G. And uh, we're about to cross over the bar line to the B flat chord, so... We're going to move down chromatically here and go B and uh, F sharp. And then right back to B and then slide that down to B flat. So that measure, let's do that measure. Low. of myself. Okay. So now on the uh, 12th measure, B flat 6, we're going to start going back up with some fifths, and we're going to add a little bit of chromaticism here. So we got uh, also... Um, it sort of turns the beat around, putting the, uh... Oh, that starts in measure, uh, B3. So we're going to just go from, uh, F to B flat again. And instead of sliding back up, because the next chord is D, and I don't want to wind up over here, we're going to, we're going to target the D on the 10th fret. So we're going to stay in this position, and we got a fifth from B flat to F and then back to B-flat, and now we have C and G on adjacent strings. So that's C on the fifth fret of string three, and then the perfect fifth there is G on the eighth fret of string two. And then we're going to approach the, uh, the next fifth from a half step below. So I'm going to hammer on C-sharp to D. And 
and that extra mm. note in there is going to turn the beat around a little bit and put the high note on the uh, on the strong beat. Beat three is going to have A on it now. And this time we're going to have a descending fourth to E on the same fret on the first and second strings. And then we have another chromatic hammer on here, and that's from B flat to B natural on the first string, six and seven. And now we're going to move up one fret and play a fifth from F to C. And then we're going to, what finger am I going to do that? I think it's a second finger. On the G on the eighth fret. And then finally, we're going to resolve by a half step, C sharp to D. So you can see that that top line is moving up. by half steps, and uh, the bottom line is after this one chromatic step, then it's moving up, up uh, at that point it's B flat Lydian, but that's only uh, just for that measure, so it probably still sounds like we're playing in G. Let's do that measure, nice and slow as well, I'm going to just use the same loop here. Yeah. Three. Move the loop over so that I get D at the end. I'll try it a little faster now. This lick I just came up with uh, yesterday, so it's not going to be perfectly up to speed. It's part of my brilliant plan here is to show you my process so that I don't have to go back and relearn what I did on the solo session when I recorded it, so that I can just learn it along with you, get one good take, and then move on. So here it is at 70%. <laughs> So um, I'm going to practice it, and hopefully you are too. Thanks for listening. Uh, they're going to get a little easier after this, so hang with me. We just had to kind of build up to that chord there. All right, I'll see you next time.